Hello and welcome to uh, the new Jevy Sim Unlock, the one that's uh, not tethered, untethered. Uh, this one is called the Jevy Supreme. Uh, it uh, says without any operation. There's a, a few steps here that you use for this new Jevy Sim versus the older version of the, the Jevy that I showed in a previous video. This one, uh, every time you restart the phone or the phone shuts off, you have to uh, reprogram the Jevy SIM and follow the nine step procedure that I showed you in the previous video. But um, now we'll use the, this Jevy SIM here and I will demonstrate on how to use this uh, Jevy SIM. So I will open up the Jevy SIM. Here's the uh, newer SIM card that we're going to use. Okay, and my phone, what we're going to do is I want to power it down. See, I, what I did is I already sh shut off the, um, well actually I didn't yet. I turned off my 3G, turned off my Wi-Fi, turned off all data, um, and my passcode. So when you open and close the phone, there's no passcode. And now I'm going to just basically shut down my phone. Okay, and uh, let me just remove my cover. So we'll, we'll put this aside. Shift this over. Okay, so now I'm gonna take out the my previous SIM card. So uh, this SIM card, my AT&T card, push to the side. Okay, all you gotta do is insert the Jevy SIM inside. Okay. Okay, again, you insert it when the phone is shut down to prevent the phone from frying the SIM card, your new Jevy SIM card. Okay, and you turn it on. Um, when you access the Jevy SIM uh, and your phone shuts off again, all you have to do is just uh, install this once and then your phone will be fully functional and even if you restart the phone or shut it down, it won't be a problem. It'll still be unlocked. So this is just unlocking uh, the, your iPhone, iPhone 4. So, at this point, um, the phone should be ready to swipe. Okay, I swipe to the unlock. Okay, now let's just make sure you're, you're looking at here. It says searching, no service. All right, this happens at times. And we, what we'll do is we'll wait. Sometimes the message, uh, the welcome message appears if you wait long enough. And remember, you're just going to have to do this once. And then after you do this uh, once, you'll be fine. So even if you have to wait five minutes, just wait it out the first time. So it's been five minutes and the message hasn't appeared. Okay, so that was the first trial. We tried it. None the message welcome screen didn't appear. So now we'll try this. What we'll do is we'll go into settings. It still says no service there. Uh, by the way, when it says no service, it's fine. Okay, so, all uh, right, so where am I? In settings. Okay, we're going to scroll down to phone. See, phone is activated because the SIM card is in there. F normally, if uh, if it and this says no SIM installed, then the phone would be darkened or blackened out, and you won't be able to access the menu. So now we're going to go down to uh, SIM applications. See where it says dial 112 mode. Um, if you have anything different, if it says English, click on English. Um, See, so I just I just pressed on the dial 112 mode. All right, just randomly pressed it. Let Let's see if that does anything. It probably will uh, bring us to the welcome screen. So we just go into some applications. Oh, check this out. Now, so choose accept. Okay, when you choose accept. No SIM card installed. Let's shut off the um, airplane mode and turn it on again. See what happens. Yep, oh, you got the one bar. That's what we're looking for. This one has the one bar, dial 112. And press call. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, and call. No longer than two seconds. All right. No error message appearing. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on airplane mode. Okay. 
Here's the difference. Now we're going to wait. All right, about 45 seconds. Or if nothing comes up in 45 seconds, we will um, turn off the uh, airplane mode. And for some phones, I don't know, it works differently. My phone, no mess up. Oh, never mind. No SIM card installed. Perfect. All right. And once you do that, you just turn off two messages appear. Okay, accept. Press all right. And now let's check this the invalid SIM. So now it should search. It's, it's just it's better just to zoom in. Let's zoom in instead. There we go. Searching. And hopefully, since I have international SIM card in there, um, the closest serv service is AT&T that works. So there you go, AT&T. Now what we'll do is let's try rebooting the SIM, the older version. When you power down your phone, your phone shuts off. It basically you got to do all the steps over again. That's with this one. But the new Jevy SIM uh, Supreme, uh, it's it's untethered basically service is still uh, AT&T okay I want to pop it out okay again do not try this at home pop out the SIM card no SIM installed alright I'm going to pop it in and try it again pop in the SIM card again only forget about that right there with the new Jevy sim would this work there's no service AT&T only with the new Jevy sim would this work the Jevy sim supreme alright and um, thank you for watching the video and I hope this helps